So, when I go into making friendships and stuff like that, any kind of relationship in general, there's an aspect that I always take into consideration that a lot of people don't. Medical. Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So, I know that's kind of an obscure way, an obscure topic to talk about, but honestly, something I've noticed in a lot of people is when they go into relationships, friendships, uh, partnerships, anything like that, they, there's one thing that people seem to subside a lot, and that is that of what do I have to consider about the person to make it easier for this to work? I think a good example of this actually would be a friendship. Many people I'm friends with have some kind of disorder or disability. Uh, when I go into friendships with people like this, I always have to consider where, at the worst, these disabilities can take the person. Or just circumstances in general. Autism is a very big one that I come across a lot. Um, and autism, depending on the person, could do one thing or another. If I weren't to consider that factor, well, let's be realistic, I probably wouldn't have any friends right now at all. Because where I live, a lot of people just, I don't know if it's just bad luck of the state or not, or the area, but a lot of people where I live have a tendency to have that. So that's kind of why I use it as an example. Not everyone, but a lot of them do. It's always either that, PTSD, or some kind of drastic disorder like borderline personality, bipolar, and epilepsy. Those are like the top three that I seem to see a lot in the area that I'm in. Not to mention depression. Anyway, I digress. If I've, I feel like if people were to consider that kind of stuff more often, then a lot would, a lot more would be at ease than those might think. Now I get why people don't do it. They're just looking for their own sake of having somebody there who they can trust, and it's more of a natural instinct kind of thing. But for me, it's not quite. The natural instinct is more, okay, consider this. Where could this lead? Let's plan for this kind of thing. Hopefully things go better, though, kind of thing. Friendships are very, very dear to me because I don't make them very often. As of right now, I have three people who I'm friends with. Very close friends, but friends nonetheless. And the reason for this is because of how I consider this kind of stuff. Medical and mental. Both of those are a big deal. The medical side I just explained. The mental side is a bit different because everybody thinks differently. Every individual person is kind of like how people describe snowflakes. Some of them are very similar sometimes with some slight differences. That's why when people... When I, when I approached some of the relationships I've had in my past, I have told a couple of them, but they had to be like very... They were very specific individuals for very big reasons that they were like a diamond in the rough. They were one gem that could not be found again once destroyed, kind of thing. Each individual person is priceless because of that, so I try my best to try to um, level with these level, level with people in their mindsets. That way it makes it easier to approach stuff like this. I don't know. This is kind of just my own perspective on the matter. I'm not the kind of person to... I always have been the kind of person to just listen to people's problems. I won't... You won't find me in arguments very often. When you do, it usually is triggered by, you know, one of my three major pet peeves. The three major things that, make, that trigger me. But other than that, I don't think you could ever find me in a... Uh, an argument with anybody. But these are my thoughts on like how I feel like friendships should be approached, or relationships, or partnerships, just in general. So let's just go with the term relationships. This is how I feel like relationships should be approached. I've noticed in my in past experiences that whenever relationships are approached otherwise, arguments happen all the time, which I know a lot of people seem to think that is normal, but for me it's not. I've never been around Aside from 
uh, relationships between those who have a tendency to not believe exactly the same, had the core belief that the same stuff I did, then it's a bit different. So it's normally yet it's not, I guess. But outside of people like that, those who have the same kind of beliefs I do to a specific degree, most of them have a tendency when arguments happen, the relationship of whatever type just fails in the long run. But that's why I've always noticed when that kind of thing does happen, they usually work to make it better so it doesn't happen again. I don't know. Approaching relationships of any kind, to me, if you were to do it with every aspect into consideration, that makes a big difference. But that's just how I feel about it. How about you guys? What do you guys think? If you are interested in uh, responding or giving your voicing your opinion on the matter, go ahead and put it down in the comments below. Just try to keep it a bit, you know, don't be too harsh or defensive or anything. I do keep an eye on that stuff. If I find anything that I feel like will harm anybody, I'll probably remove it. But please try to keep it off that topic. Um, if you liked this video or liked how I felt about this, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't sit anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. I do one of these type of videos every day alongside a, a gaming video that happens two hours later. If you want to join the Nostalgia Train and you do like these videos, look forward to a future video. I don't know when exactly it's going to be, but I've reiterated this before. Look forward to the 150 sub milestone challenge that I'm going to be doing with Life Adventures of Christian and hopefully Amber. Um, so look forward to that. However, want to check out any of the other content like this one that I've done prior to this video? Click the links on the side of my head. Link to the channel will be under my head and in the description below um, if you have not checked that out yet. In the meantime, though, thanks again for watching this video, guys, and I hope to see you all in another one. Bye for now.